Okay, so the board I'm going to be working with is the Omnibus F4 flight controller. Uh, it's the successor to the uh, Omnibus All-in-One F3 flight controller. Um, you lose the, the card reader slot, uh, but you're gaining an F4 chipset, and uh, it still has the OSD, and it's a pretty, uh, pretty sweet flight controller, so that's what we're going to be trying out. The first thing I did with this board when I got it was flash it to the latest Betaflight 3.0.0. And uh, these are the settings that I used to do that. Okay, so I was having some trouble getting the flight controller to work with my spectrum transmitter because I couldn't get the board to save any settings related to RX serial. I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. So you can see I click the three CRLX ports, I save and reboot, and when I connect to the board again, none of the settings have saved. Okay, so I jumped on over to the Mini Quad Club, and this helpful guy, Nikolai Yap, had some advice to offer. He said to turn off data and turn on Serial RX for UART1 and save. So I'm going to uncheck that box and check Serial. Uh, I'm going to save the board, and then when it starts back up, turn on data for UART3 and set the numeric drop down to 9600. Then the settings started saving correctly. Okay, at this point I was able to set the receiver mode to RX Serial and the Serial Receiver Provider to Spectrum 2048. And at that point under the receiver tab, my transmitter controls were uh, being received. Now this is the first board I've used with built-in OSD, uh, but I think it's really sweet. Uh, for anyone who's set up an OSD uh, standalone board before, you know how much of a pain it can be to make changes. You have to connect the OSD to the FTDI adapter which usually means disconnecting other wires to get it in place. You have to use third-party Arduino software, you have to use minimum OSD, minimum OSD software, and you have to set it all up and hope that it looks correct in your quad, and if things are wrong, you know, go back to step one. Uh, but on this board, you can make changes um, and watch them change on your screen in real time. You see here in the video, I can just click on uh, disarmed and watch it turn off and then turn it back on and, and watch it come back. I can drag things around and I can watch the position change right there in real time. And all it takes to do this is just to have your uh, quad powered up, you know, have your battery plugged in, and be monitoring your video feed, uh, whether it's through your goggles or on an external monitor. Uh, it just makes it really easy to get your OSD set up and configured the way you want. Okay, for this setup, I'm going to do um, pretty much standard settings. Uh, I'm running the I'm running an X frame with SpeedX ES20, uh, BLLES ESCs, and the Edge Racing 2205 2040 motors, both available from Buddy RC. I'm going to run multi-shot. I'm going to do 1070 min throttle, 1990 max throttle. Um, let's go down here, 8 kilohertz um, and 2 kilohertz gyro and PID frequencies. I'm disabling the accelerometer, barometer, and magnetometer. I'm going to uh, run stock PIDs on Betaflight 3. Um, they tend to, tend to run pretty good out of the box, so I'm just going to start there and see how it flies. And then on the Receiver settings. I'm going to run an RC dead band of 6 and a yaw dead band of 10. Uh, other than that, pretty much just all kind of standard stuff here. All right, let's uh, let's see how she flies. One of the things I noticed is that the CPU load in the top right corner never changed from 3% the entire time. 
I'm gonna try to ramp up the loop times and turn on some features and see if I can challenge the F4 chip. You can see from the video that I never really faced any desync issues or death rolls. It's also worth noting that a lot of the sloppy flying and the jitteriness you see is definitely due to the fact that I've not flown in two weeks and uh, I'm not gonna blame that on the board. I'm gonna be shooting some more flight videos of this Omnibus F4 board soon. I'm gonna try to get out to some better locations where I can push things a little bit harder, so make sure you subscribe and uh, get notified when the new stuff comes out.